Hi guys, hope you're doing well. So today I have my January favorites for you and I'm so excited. I have so many good things to show you. So I'm gonna start off with accessories. I'm so into pearls right now and gems and hair accessories. I never really do anything with my hair, as you know if you follow me. Uh, my hair is just <laughs> ridiculous, but I think I finally got a look that I like and is so simple to do. And it's, you know, it's got the curls, it's got the bit of straightness, it's got the oomph to it. And I really like how it's turned out. And I just like using little clips and I just kind of like pop it on like that. You know, it's really like effortless and just simple and, you know, just bring it down. So as you can see, I've got like a little bit of a, that technically could have been a little bit more you know, curled, but I'm getting there. And yeah, I just really like it. It adds a little bit of femininity to my stuff. And I've got this one from Amazon, so I'll link it down below. I think Amazon is the best place because one, it's Prime if you're a Prime member. Two, um, you can go by reviews, um, except for hair clips. I didn't really go for reviews. I just went for what would come really soon. And I love this one because it's massive, and it, but it's only got like three jaws. So, um, and it just, it really, it's so funny because like I could just put my hair up like really messy, not even uh, put it into like a bun. And then it just clasps and holds and gives like a weird look. Obviously that's not the best example and I'm just too excited right now. So, um, but yeah, I really like it. It's like massive, it's black and massive pearl and I love it. And then the other ones that I got from Amazon are these, and these are a little bit more glitzy. Um, you could have like the square, or um, you could have circle. I just liked the circle, um, and they're just really strong, and again, they add like a little bit of like pizzazz, and I like putting them in like weird locations, like together. Um, like not overlapping but very very close by as just like a little hair accessory and it looks really cute in real life and because these have got like a bit of sparkle to them too it's just add something more the only thing is these were you know cheaper so i am anticipating for the gems to kind of pop off um these are fresh water pearls i did mention these in my jewelry collection i'll leave a card up if you would like to see that and these were from madewell and they are just my favorite. I think they are so beautiful. They look so good with just wearing like a sweater or a polo neck, and they look really good with a black dress. They're just easy. And even though they are quite round, they are not the perfect shapes. And I mean, that's fresh water pearls for you, but I love that. Uh, this one, again, I've mentioned in my jewelry collection video, these are fake pearls with a really pretty motif on them that sparkles. This is from Ralph Lauren. The best place for these sort of things and for classic designs is Nordstrom Rack. I mean Nordstrom obviously, but Nordstrom Rack because it's a bit cheaper and they have all those sort of Ralph Lauren big pearl earrings and bracelets and necklaces. It's just so pretty. And then these ones I got from Accessorize in England. And again, these are a mixture of big pearl and small pearl and gems. And if you just have your hair up, they look really pretty. But if you just want to put like something to the side, it also looks really nice. And they just hold well. And um, I get so many compliments. And I love, as I said, I love putting them together. I think they just look more special like that. And they don't have to be like aligned. Um, but I really, really like it. So that is that. That's my accessories. I guess the other accessory would be my Louis Vuitton makeup bag. Um, I believe this is the one um, lower than the largest size. I can't remember the name of this toiletry bag, but I love it. It's just amazing. I should have got this a long time ago. I love the square one. It, it just fits in my bag so beautifully in my carry-on, in my main suitcase. It's nice and small and compact yet it holds so much, like really tall things, really small things, really large things. You could use it for whatever, and it's a great going out clutch too. Um, so right now I just hold all my makeup in here, and this is like my everyday makeup. I have another bag with like excess overflow makeup, but this is just unbelievable, and it's got a really nice wipeable interior, 
and um, I love it. I just, I love it. If something you want this year and you want to splurge, I would get the toiletry. And in here are some of my favorites too. This Hourglass Foundation, the Vanish in Golden, this is my third one. And I just love it because when I travel, I don't have to worry about liquids. Um, I don't have to worry about spilling. It gives me the best sort of warmish, um, glowy undertone. I've got it on today. Um, it's just great. And it works amazing with the Beauty Blender. You have to have a Beauty Blender. I think that's the best way to use this foundation. And then uh, what else do I like in here? Ah, oh, an oldie but a goodie. The Revlon Cherries in the Snow. I've been so into wearing bright lipsticks again. And this one's just the most perfect pinky cherry color ever. And it just lasts really well. It's not on my lips today. On my lips today, I've got um, Absolute Power by MAC. And then is there any other favorites in here? Um, nah, not really. Okay, so then I've got my Burrito Black Saffron. Oh, gosh. I freaking love this smell. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen a picture I've taken of a pearl bag, um, Burrito Mojave Ghost, and Glossier Lip Gloss. Funny story, I left those all at home, despite they're my favorites. One, because I'm going back home in March to be a bridesmaid, and I feel like summertime will be closer, and the weather will be better, and I can use those a little bit more and plus I have like overflow here so I left those but the pearl bags from Mango I think you can still get it online it's on sale the Mojave Ghost is my absolute favorite scent from Burrito I haven't smelled all of them but it's a really special scent it reminds me of going on dates and um, or just going out and feeling really good and um, the Glossier lip gloss was a Christmas gift and it's just a really nice lip gloss so the black saffron this one's a hairspray or hair perfume and again this is like i'm not gonna spray it now but it's i just i love it it is expensive but oh my gosh so worth it i've sprayed a lot of it and i've still got a good amount left and i just love like wisping up little layers of my hair and um thin layers or whatever and just spraying it through and it just lingers and you I can't tell you how glamorous you feel and how sophisticated and how sexy you feel with this scent. It's not, when you smell it first, you're thinking like, hmm, oh, but if you want to smell like a Neiman Marcus or <laughs> um, a really fancy place, this is the one to go for. And I love it. And mixed with Mojave Ghost, it's one of those layering scents. I just, I feel like the ultimate girl. Uh, talking about hair, my Dabbiness Oil Oil. I This is the travel size I got from Amazon. I normally get the full size from my hair salon. Dabbiness hair products are my favorite. Um, and this oil is just amazing. I put a pump in my hand, I really warm it up, and then I kind of grab my hair all together and just twist it and massage the oil into my um, ends and bring it up a little bit. And then I put it at the top for the flyaways. I forgot I had the clips in still. And um, it just, it's not heavy, it smells amazing, um, it makes my hair piecey and glossy, I love it. Then I have these, and these are those aromatherapy little bath bars, or shower bars from Bath & Body Works. Uh, mine's in the um, scent Comfort, which has vanilla and patchouli and essential oils. And basically these are shower steamers. So they come in little packets. And, um, oh, I love the smell. And it's a little disc. And you open it up and you put it towards the base of um, where your water falls. I put it a little bit higher up in my bathtub just because I feel like I might shower quite with warmer water than possibly is, you, you know, you should have. So it melts a lot faster. But it just diffuses and crumbles. And the scent just, like, overflows your bathroom. And it smells so nice and relaxing and I think they have a sleep one a stress one I love the comfort one this is really really great post workout um it just it just fills my bathroom and it just it's just so calming and relaxing and it's like a real treat it's the it's one of those days as I said like if I'm really kind of sore after the gym or I've done a mask and I'm doing me time 
this I have, then I come out of the shower with a beautiful candle on and make myself a really nice tea and I just like cozy up and watch a YouTube video. So that's what I do. Um, this, oh, I'm so glad I love this. This is the Donna Karen Cashmere Mist. If you've been a subscriber of YouTube for a long time of beauty gurus, you know this was like all the rave and it was ridiculously priced for a deodorant. But um, I always, I just didn't know if I wanted to bite the bullet. I don't sweat and smell um, extensively. I never needed like a powerful deodorant. So I thought it would work, but I did try a natural one once and I realized I do sweat a lot more and it didn't help. So then I was worried about trying this one, even though this is not natural, but I just didn't know if it was going to be good enough. But I bit the bullet. I, I believe I bought this on Amazon too because when you go to Sephora and that little checkout line, these are always so dirty. Like, so dirty. And I don't mind if I dirty it myself or it's like mixed around with my stuff and it gets kind of like battered and bruised. But um, like for example, I just put lipstick on here from my thing. Lovely. Oh, well it wipes off. But um, when it's, well, yeah, as I said, when it's me, I don't mind, but when I'm purchasing it and it's like a good $20, I don't want it to be like ugly. So um, I bought mine from Amazon and I think it was a little bit cheaper and I love it. It smells really, really nice, light, floral, um, really beautiful. I don't think I would have the perfume of this too, but if you love the perfume, this will be great as a layering. But it really lasts well. It doesn't leave a white cast on my like blacks. But you know, obviously I do let it dry. And um, I actually think this is worth it. And I was, when I first bought this, I was like, it better be good. And it was. Speaking of skin stuff now, my Ren. Oh my goodness, how I've missed this. I didn't take this with me to England just because I have stuff at home. This is the Ren Ready Steady Glow Daily AHA Tonic. It's a toner. It's got the most brilliant packaging. Um, it's one of these where you get the cotton pad and you push it down and the product disperses up. So when, once this finishes, this would be a great for a nail polish remover, you know. Um, and I love it because you can use it daily. It sloughs off your skin. I had such deep um, opened pores when I first came here. And I even had it when I was in England for a little while. I don't know what happened to my skin. And this just closed them up. They, it really did. And um, it just makes my skin smooth. There's nothing to where I'm looking at my skin and I see texture. It's just, it's just skin. It's just what I want it to be like. And I never have any breakouts. And I use this morning, day and night and um, so morning and night and I use my Shiseido um, square uh, cotton pads those are the best they are the softest they are well worth the money I love it I have another one back up um, in my cupboard and it just exfoliates nicely but it's gentle sometimes it tingles sometimes it doesn't I can't, I can't tell you enough and I think it's really good value for money I think it's around about $30 but this has lasted me pretty much half a year, so really good. And then finally, two things that I'm gonna go into more depth about in a review video, but these are two creams that I use for my keratosis pylorus, or KP, or chicken bum skin, what have you. And I bought this one from Amazon, this one, I love Amazon, as you can tell, it's just easy. Um, and Ameliorate, I believe, is not sold in America. However, if you're in Europe, you can get this. This is the Transforming Body Lotion. Uh, I have suffered from KP for about 15 years. I have done everything under the sun that you can imagine. And also being in the medical field, I have done like the whole retinol and everything. Um, this has been the best thing for me I've ever tried. And as I said, I've been through many many treatments and um, it works within two three days it's just smooths me out uh, completely and I feel like I normally I have pretty much normal skin uh, my pores or like the hyperpigmentation around my hair follicles are not as much the bumps filled with keratin is not as much redness I didn't suffer from 
completely but even then it's just evened out my skin tone amazing now if you're like oh no but i live in america sparkle say like what am i going to do my touch skincare this has worked really really well and um this has glycolic acid 12%, salicylic acid 2%. This one also, um, I feel like works within a week and has smoothed me out and just feels good and pretty much the same. I, I would say they're quite, I would say this is a little bit better, but I'm very happy with this too. And I, as soon as you put this on, you just feel really, really smooth and nourished. And, um, you know, you can layer on a nice fragranced um, body lotion afterwards, but the, I think the key is to use it twice a day. I use it morning and night. So as soon as I wake up in the morning or after I shower and before bedtime, you really have to be vigilant. And I think these two are the best. But as I said, I'm going to go into a lot more depth and what KP is if you don't know what it is or you want to know a little bit more about it. Not to go too medical, but I just feel like I've talked about it for several years, but never really made its own video. And I think... I think because now I, I feel comfortable in uh, this and also telling you about another treatment, I, I can kind of um, talk about it confidently. So yeah, that is my favorite. I'll do a little outfit of the day for you. So I have on, what do I have on? Okay, so I have this mini hoop earring that has like flowers and like a little gemstone in from Anthropology. I love this. These pearl earrings are from H&M maybe, or Forever 21 or something like that. Um, my Tiffany & Co necklace with the enamel pendant in blue. This is a wild fable from Target, $12 top, but I love it. I've always wanted one of these tops. Um, I just think they make you look quite busty and pretty and just like kind of like cinched in. And I've tucked it a little bit in my girlfriend denim jeans, which by the way, are probably one of my favorite jeans to date. Thick, thick jeans, make you look good, high-waisted. These are the Carolinas and they've got like a raw hem. I don't know if I can lift up my leg because I am so <laughs> sore from the gym. And I just have got on these pom-pom Victoria's Secret slippers that I got for Christmas with my pajama set. I'm not really sure what I'm going to wear as shoes. If you wanted to dress this up, you could just wear black strappy sandals and it would look so chic, like kind of casual chic. Or you could just wear flats or, um, you know, uh, what have you, or ballet flats, whatever. I might just wear my Chloe flats to class. Um, nothing that exciting. And yeah, my makeup is just the Too Faced Peach Palette. I think the color is Summer Yum. It's kind of like a purpley color. And then Absolute Power by MAC. And oh yeah, on my wrist, I have my David Yerman Citrine Bangle, which I love, my Rolex. And then I got this recently, which is the Tiffany bead, beaded bracelet, and um, it matches the um, necklace. I could have got a different color, but I kind of liked it being a bit, I kind of wanted like a classic Tiffany blue again. And I really like it because it's the smallest size and I'm happy with where it lays and um, it just fits me. Nothing on this hand and then my usual rings, David Yerman, Anushka Crown, um, Cartier, uh, this is Monica Venada Diamond Eternity Band and my Olive Branch Tiffany ring. My nails are gel dipped powder with tips on it this time. So these aren't my natural nails. In all my other videos, if you've seen my nails this length and just in general, they are my real nails. When I went to England, because I was there for so long, um, I wasn't able to get them touched up and my nails grow so fast. So I cut them myself and they just, it was a, it was a bad time and I just ruined them. So I needed to put tips on all of them again and start anew for the new year. So anyway, I hope you like this video and I'll talk to you soon. Take care guys. Bye.